The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Susume Kitagawa, Kyoto University, Japan, Richard Robson, University of Melbourne, Australia, and Omar Yagi, University of California, Berkeley, USA, for the development of metal organic frameworks. Three pioneering scientists landing this year's Nobel Prize in chemistry. Their creation, known as metal organic frameworks, are molecular constructions with large spaces through which liquids and gases can flow. It's being likened to something straight out of the world of wizardry. So a small amount of material, literally something that would fit between my fingers, can have the same area on its inside as a football pitch. So several thousands of square meters. That is almost a bit like Hermione's handbag in Harry Potter that is huge on the inside but very tiny on the outside. From desert air and even removed forever chemicals like PFAS from water, it's being called the material of the 21st century. Speaking to reporters in Kyoto, Japan, where he is a professor, winner Susumo Kitagawa saying, I'm no genius. I just charge head on into whatever strikes me as interesting, and there are plenty of occasions where it doesn't end well. Meanwhile, winner Omar M. Yagi, a UC Berkeley professor born from Palestinian refugees, calling the news thrilling. This uh, recognition is really a testament of the power of the public school system in the US uh, that takes people like me with major disadvantaged background, um, uh, refugee background, and, uh, and allow you to work and work hard and distinguish yourself. The winners share a roughly $1.6 million prize. The Nobel Prize for Literature will be handed out on Thursday and the Peace Prize on Friday. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.